Good afternoon, I'm George Latimer, Westchester County Executive, and we're here along the Bronx River Parkway in our pathway uh, for a very special moment. I have a pair of scissors with me which we're going to put to good use in a few minutes. I've gotten a haircut recently, so we're actually going to be using it to cut the ribbon on a renovated section of our Bronx River Parkway pathway in the scarsdale Hartsdale corridor, and I'm joined by a number of individuals who I'm going to introduce to you as they speak. Uh, who are here for this important occasion. Uh, just a couple of days ago, the Bronx River and the Bronx River Parkway merged into one because uh, we have many of our older parkways that have been uh, created out of the riverbeds of our rivers. But what we've also been able to do through our tremendous Parks, Recreation, and Conservation Department over many, many years is create pathways that go alongside the rivers and by extension the parkways, which can be used by Westchester residents who want to walk or who want to bicycle. Now, the Bronx River Parkway, which is owned by Westchester County, uh, the portion that we own stretches from the split from the Sprain Parkway down in Bronxville and goes up to the Kensico Dam Plaza when then the road morphs into the Taconic Parkway, has been a long-standing facility built in the early 1920s and was the first ever limited access highway in American history. So before there was any interstates, before there were any other parkways, there was the Bronx River Parkway. But because it has the uh, the distinction of being the oldest parkway, it also means it's the parkway that generally has the oldest infrastructure and needs constant renewal and constant refreshing. So today is one of those moments where the Westchester Board of Legislators and the executive branch have been able to put resources together uh, to create a, an important link. In order to uh, talk a little bit more about that, I'm going to ask Kathy O'Connor, who's our commissioner for the county's parks, uh, Recreation and Conservation Department uh, to tell us a little bit about uh, what our action is today and then I will introduce some of the other individuals including our elected officials who are kind enough to be with us today. First, Kathy O'Connor. Thank you very much, County Executive Latimer. You've heard us say many, many times over the past few months uh, these are projects that have been a long time coming. This one's easily over a decade over in planning and through the tremendous work of the county executive, his administration, the Board of Legislators, uh, County Parks Department, DPW planning, and all of the people that uh, fall into those categories, this finally happened. Uh, we're so excited to have this open. This includes about 50 miles. We now have about 50 miles of trailway including South County Trail, North County Trail, trails all over our facilities, and this BRP. This is another about a mile and a half that was just added. I lived through the conversations of it was on the other side of the parkway, then it was back over here, back and forth, back and forth. It finally came to fruition. Um, year after year, the facilities that are most popular with our constituency in Westchester County are our trailways. Even over the pools and beaches, even over playland, even over the golf courses, our trails are the most popular and people absolutely love the fact that all they need is a good pair of sneakers or a bike or rollerblades and it's free. And they can get on with their families and they can have a wonderful facility and a wonderful uh, piece of ex uh, exercise and recreation. So I just wanted to thank as I've always said, the County Executive, George Latimer, is a tremendous supporter of the Parks Department. Uh, he, he really is a friend as well as the County Executive to all our projects, and so much has been done over the last three and a half years because of his vision and obviously working closely with the uh, Board of Legislators. So thank you, uh, County Executive Latimer. I also just wanted to thank Peter Tataglia, who you'll hear from, is the first deputy that I work closely with. Uh, he oversees capital projects. Obviously, this one was very near and dear to his heart. Certainly a shout out to our Renaissance man, Mr. Dave DeLucia, who is the director of cap capital projects and also rides every inch of every trail that we own. And certainly our director of conservation, uh, Jason Klein, because Part of, this part of this pathway really looks like a park, not just a pathway. And they took tremendous time and energy in figuring out what could be planted to soften the fact that we're right next to the BRP. And it looks beautiful and uh, a real good example of that people love it. While it wasn't ready, people were still climbing over barricades, going around gates to get on. 
now they can safely and, and hopefully have a great time. Also, a shout out to the former county uh, commissioner, Joe Stout, who this was also near and dear to his heart. He left before it was completed. So, Joe, thanks for all your help. And um, again, thank you to everybody. Have a great time. Come, come out and get on this pathway. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. And I want to thank you for your leadership of this department. When I came into office as county executive a little over three and a half years ago, uh, Kathy was the commissioner of the department. Uh, Peter Tartagli, who you're going to hear from next, was uh, the, uh, the second in command. And as in so many other departments of county government, I saw the professionalism of individuals and I wanted them to stay. I asked Kathy, would you please stay on and continue in the new administration? And I promised that we would get resources to this department. We'd make uh, improvements that were long overdue. And we've accomplished that mission. And we've accomplished it because of the professionals of this department. So, Kathy, publicly, let me thank you for your leadership in this department. We've spent uh, many a, uh, a press conference highlighting different parts of this system. It's an excellent system. I didn't create it. But the bottom line is it falls to us to maintain it and fix it. And that's exactly what we're doing. The first deputy commissioner is Peter Tartaglia. Peter has lived and died with Westchester Park System for a long, long time. And uh, hopefully over the last couple of years, he's seen some of his long hoped for projects start to come to fruition. We have more work to do, but Peter, thank you for your leadership and please share your thoughts. Thank you, County Executive. What another great day in parks. This reservation is 807 acres. It was initiated in, in 1906, but it didn't open until 1925, so things took long back then, too. <laughs> this particular project is 20 years in the making, 20 years in the making. But if we go back, we always want to give perspective about how our parks have so much history and how important they are to us. If you go back to when this opened in 1925, the whole reservation, our 30th president, Calvin Coolidge, was very technologically savvy because he was the first president to have his inauguration broadcast on radio. So that was what was the in thing back then. So it's really a cool place. Um, the, this, the whole reservation has three firsts. The first Westchester County Park, the first linear park in New York, and the first parkway in the country. So this is near and dear to people in Westchester every single day. And as the county executive and as, as Commissioner O'Connor said, we don't do this alone. We have partners. This is county government working for the people of Westchester and beyond, because a lot of people use these facilities. This is the county. This is the executive branch, the board of legislators, our partners in the state. This is all of our departments. We thank DPW. We thank planning, parks. I can go on and on. There's many, many departments. A couple of people, uh, Vince Altamari from DPW was a big help with this pride. He was near dear to his heart as well as Esther Rivas, so we thank them as well. Uh, the planning department uh, and the Bronx River Parkway Reservation Conservancy is also who helps us with uh, issues that we come upon on, on this pathway. Anyway, the pathway is a wonderful piece. There's another piece coming uh, south of here, south of Scout, Scout Field, that will take itself under the Cross County uh, Parkway and down to Oak Street Loop in Mount Vernon. When that's done in two years, you can walk from the Bronx Line to Kensico. This now is the newly blazed section, brand new property here. It's a wonderful walk. We thank everybody that's contributed to this and it's open to the public. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. And uh, uh, we always um, want to make sure that we have outstanding uh, individuals named Peter who work for us. So I also want to recognize a member of our executive team, director, of sustainability. There's a lot of other things added to his title, but he's involved in almost every important environmental initiative we have, either as the author of the initiative or as the implementer of the initiative. With us today, Peter McCord. Peter, thank you for being thank here you. today. Thank you for your service and your leadership. Now, it's been said by a couple of folks here that um, nothing happens unless there is support from the legislative body of, of the county government. I served for 13 years as a county legislature. I had the privilege of being the chairman of the legislature over 20 years ago. And uh, as much as any person who's ever served as county executive, I deeply appreciate what the role of the Board of Legislators is. They are a separate legislative um, a uh, separate governmental entity from the executive branch. They hold a certain amount of check and balance of what the executive branch does, but on most every major decision that happens, it doesn't happen 
unless there's a consensus from the Board of Legislators that it happens. And I'm proud to say that this project, like so many other, has gotten bipartisan, unanimous support from the Board of Legislators as they looked at it, scrutinized it, and made decisions. We're joined by two members of the Board of Legislators. I'd like them each to come up and uh, share some of their thoughts at this moment. Mary Jane Shimsky, who is a legislator who represents uh, the town of Greenberg and some of the villages on the river. I believe she borders right up to here on the other side of the Bronx River. And she's also the majority leader of the board. And Damon Marr, who lives in New Rochelle and his district includes Eastchester, uh, which also borders the Bronx River, not pr quite here, but very active. And he is a bicyclist par extraordinaire. And I would suspect he will be the first legislator to bicycle on this pathway if he hasn't already done it. So Mary Jane Shimsky, Damon Marr, please. Thank you so much, George, and thank you for all of the people in our departments and in our various organizations who have helped make this day possible. Um, as George said, I represent Hearts, the Hartsdale end of this project, and I represent the community on the other side of the Bronx River, which is maybe 30 yards or so away from us right now. And Commissioner O'Connor talked about how important our trailways are, but in the last year and a half, so many people in the county have developed a new appreciation for our trailways. It was the only change of scenery and the only exercise so many people got during the worst days of COVID. So I am so happy that this connector is finally complete it's been done in a historically, aesthetically, and environmentally sensitive way. Um, it's going to make walking these many miles much more pleasant and much safer for the people who use the trail, whether they walk, whether they cycle, whether they skate. And it's such an important amenity for the people who live around here and who live in all over the county, really. So thank you very much to all of you who have made it happen. And we look forward to more projects which are going to um, maintain and improve what is really one of the main jewels of the Parks Department's Crown in Westchester, our trailway system. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, the answer, George, is yes, I have already. Uh, yeah, as soon as I heard that the, the, gate, the gates were Opened a tiny bit for a kind of a soft opening. Uh, I was here on my bicycle, and you might have seen me nudging uh, Realtor Barry Kramer here before when we were talk, some, talking about uh, coming here, scaling fences, going around. Who would do that? Well, I'll tell you. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Not, not you. Not you, no. Uh, but I, I also have a running club called New Row Runners, and uh, we've been through here, and just uh, it's a marvel of engineering when you think, how much of this was very steep landscaping, um, not landscaped at all, it's just a steep uh, forest basically. And, and it's such a, a beautiful uh, scenery, it's a beautiful site for this. You get close to the river, you have rolling hills where you get a, you get a perspective from high up. So uh, in short, you, you've got the seal of approval from, uh, from the whole running community. Thank, Thank you. you. And you know what, today I think is a day the pools may be doing a little better than the yes. trail. <laughs> Next, I'm very happy to have with us here one of our partners in state government, State Senator Shelley Mayer. <coughs> Shelley is a resident <coughs> of Yonkers in the Beach Hill section, which is on the other side, a little further down the line. Uh, but this is very much a part of the world that she's lived in over the many years that she's been a resident here. Shelley and I served together in the New York State Assembly when she first was elected there. And we sat uh, at times on the floor of the assembly. We talked a lot about things that we thought could happen or should happen in government at the state level and at the county level. Uh, she is going on now to serve in the state senate, as did I, and now in this position. Uh, and I couldn't ask for a better friend in government. And a friend will tell you when you're wrong, as well as when you're right. And, and I respect that uh, Shelley's friendship and her support for our initiatives in Westchester County have been absolute. Uh, and, and in that legislature, when Andrea Stewart-Cousins and Gary Pretlow and Amy Paulin and uh, Sandy Gelliff and a host of different people are there to be right at our side to help us, Shelley Mayer is leading the parade. State Senator Shelley Mayer. Thank you, George. 
And I'm really only here to say how exciting it is and how thankful I am to my, power, uh, my partners in county government. I, as a little girl growing up right there in uh, Beach Hill on the other side here, formed the Live and Learn Together Club to come down to the Bronx River Parkway and collect leaves and plants with my friends from elementary school in Yonkers. This has been the playground of this community, but it never met its potential. And only through your leadership, George, and the leadership of the county board and our colleagues that make this happen, can we who live close by, and certainly all my constituents on Garth Road, thousands of them take advantage of this. So I'm, this is when county government, people forget what it does, this is what it does. And this has made a true difference in the lives of regular people who pay their taxes and get this chance to come out and walk on this beautiful path and enjoy this extraordinary place that, that I had my little club at. I'm gonna go back and find those little trees and twigs uh, because some other young girl is also starting that and now you've given that chance. So thank you very much to all of you. The final person that I'm gonna ask to say a few words is a longtime friend and, and a person who's been active in a lot of different arenas uh, Barry Kramer <clears throat> is a resident of the Garth Road section. Uh, it, most people think of it as Scarsdale. It's actually in the town of East Chester, and it's just uh, south of where the Scarsdale train station is, and it backs into the Garth Woods section, which is alongside uh, both the river and the pathway of the parkway. Uh, Barry has long been an advocate for many different things, and one of them is the completion of this project. And as I said before with Shelley, Barry is a true friend because he will tell you when he's happy, and he will tell you when he's unhappy. <laughs> and when your friends tell you they're unhappy, then you'd better darn well do whatever you know you need to do. But this project was never really controversial. It was a question of putting the energy and the time into it. And I'm very glad that Barry can be here for this symbolic ribbon cutting because it is the completion of something that he has advocated for along with other people in the Garth Road Co-op Council for a long, long time. Barry Kramer. So good afternoon. And I want to thank everyone who's here today for the hard work and effort that was put into this beautiful path. I also want to assure you that I was not with legislator uh, Marr in hopping over a fence or around a fence. This path, uh, I had the opportunity to walk this, <laughs> to walk this path, to uh, bicycle the path, and it is one of the most beautiful sections in the entire Bronx River Parkway Trail system. Uh, over the past year and a half, I have had the opportunity to walk the North County Trail and the South County Trail. So I really thank and, and um, appreciate all the effort that the county and the county legislators and everyone who comes to support the work to complete the path, to develop it. I think it's wonderful for the Garth Road community of which I've served as a longtime president. And I, in behalf of all of the residents of Garth Road, we want to thank you for everything that was done to complete this path. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want to open it up to any press questions. I believe we have the Scarsdale Inquirer represented here. And if we have any others that are remote, we'll be happy to try to answer any questions. Any questions from the press that we have available? All right, if there are any other members of the press that are watching this, uh, they're welcome uh, to call us at 995-2941. Ask for Joe Scamato, who's our Deputy Director of Communications. He'll be happy to uh, connect with any of the issues that are at hand if there are questions from the members of the press. Just some closing comments before we actually set up the ribbon. Uh, we've spent uh, what seems like a very brief summer uh, visiting different parts of Westchester County on different topics and issues. It was just before the 4th of July that we were at the renovated Miller House, Washington headquarters in North Castle. We have subsequently been at the Tarrytown Lighthouse in Kingsland Point Park in Sleepy Hollow. We've stood on the Loire Preserve for the Whiteman Mansion. We have stood in Meerstead in Bedford. Uh, we've been at the Glen Island uh, Harbor Club where the seawall was reconstructed. We were at Playland. And what we've tried to do over these months is to show you in physical terms what has happened in this county government. The decisions to decide to move forward in a certain direction involve a certain amount of policy and certainly allocation of money, which the Board of Legislators and our executive branch has to, has to identify. But the, the planning, the engineering, 
the hard work in the actual construction and the supervising of the construction, making sure that, that each of these projects, this particular one today, meet the specification that we've laid out. That belongs to the professionals of Westchester County government and the very qualified professionals that we contract with. And I think it's very important to understand for those who are watching, there may only be a few of you, there may be quite a few of you, but we find ourselves many times in government talking in terms of rhetoric talking in terms of philosophical agreements and disagreements that frame how people view things. But at the end of the day, what we physically have done in each of these different areas is the real statement of what county government can do. And I might add, when we were uh, together with members of uh, HGAR, the various realtors, to talk about what's happening to housing values in Westchester, which are on the rise, when we announced the census numbers that show that we have the highest population in Westchester County in its history, over a million people. The narrative is people, some people leave Westchester at various times of their life, but more people are coming into Westchester and they want what it is that we're providing for them in terms of quality of life. And one of those key quality of life issues are the parks, recreation, and our conservation programs here in this county. What we're showing day by day is not just our words, but the deeds of good people, the results, not the rhetoric, the results that you can see and touch and feel and then assess whether or not this administration and, and all of the people that work with it, if we're doing the right things at a time when we have cut property taxes, at a time when we've cut overall spending, at a time when crime statistics are down in Westchester County, all of those things filter in. Today we're cutting a ribbon to make sure that a pathway is now connected, just as we tried to protect over the last 48 hours the integrity of the parkway and the pathway in the river. But that's our job and we're trying to do that job every single day. So with that, let us cut the official ribbon. Kathy, grab the scissors. You never can tell what I'd do with them if I get them. <laughs>